Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson, still in our series on contest day management and contest day disasters. And, and I talked about this in the very first episode, Adam, that I think the worst disaster you could have is just waking up too soft. Because if, you're, if you are spilled over, if you just have that gooey, soft, lost all of your tightness look, 99 out of 100 times, it's just that you overcarbed and that's gonna be very difficult to overcome. So I don't even know if you've had clients in this position recently, so you have to think back to when maybe you were still learning coaching and, and what it's like uh, to try and rectify that. What would you do if somebody just wakes up too soft and you know it's because you pushed carbs a little too far? Yeah, you know, this has always been a scenario with two-day shows for me if someone doesn't place as well as they would like they might go out and overeat. And then they're like, you know what, I shouldn't have done that. And I'm always the type of coach that I wanna make this person look as good as possible, even if I don't think they're getting judged. Um, so I have had people wake up too soft. And one of the best things you can do is, well, the first concern is food for sure. You're just, if you spilled over, you sure as heck don't want to eat anything that's going to attribute to more of that spillover. But then you have to manage hunger with that as well. And I've always found with my clients, if they are spilled over and they are hungry, a protein and fat meal can be a very safe bet to help them you know, not spill over any more than they already are and help curb that hunger a little bit but also I might have them do some activity. Another thing is after that activity, I'll simply have them sleep and lay down. And it's magical what more sleep can do for a client. So if they can lay down, reabsorb more of those carbs into their muscle tissue, hopefully, that's going to be huge. And I've seen people literally do a 180, um, especially if it's a late show. Time is the other consideration. How much time do you have till you go on? But a lot of times these shows might not end till eight or nine o'clock at night. So you might add the whole day. You can just sit back and reabsorb some of that um, carbohydrate into the muscle tissue and pull in tighter. Yeah, you bring up a really good point, which is number one, you have to know exactly why somebody has spilled over. So if they went out the night before, they ate a bunch of food, you know, try and get an accurate count. You know, how many grams of carbs do you estimate you consumed? Clearly, there had to be some extra sodium involved, how much fat, because it may be that they consume so much fat that it's not even going to be a matter of absorbing glycogen. It could be that they're just done. But I do like what you're saying on all three counts. Number one, activity can be really big. You know, use some of that glycogen, knowing it's going to take some time. If, if you know, barring tanning product, if you can go out and do a workout, do a short run, even if you have to just reapply some tanning product, it would be worth it to, to regain that tightness. Uh, if sodium was involved, then, then you're exactly right. I'm not gonna go too high there. Sleeping is one of those things that if you're just not getting a good night's sleep, just like what you mentioned about the lymphatic system, reabsorbing extracellular fluid, putting it back in your vascular system, if you're not sleeping well, that's not going to happen as, as uh, efficiently as normal. So I agree, just laying down, getting off your feet can be another good thing, but it's gotta be a combination of those two things. It has to be a combination of, of activity to use glycogen, to use calories, as well as then laying down, getting off your feet, drinking a lot of water, trying to reestablish some normal fluid dynamic between interstitial fluid, intramuscular fluid, as well as just aldosterone, getting your kidneys to you know, release that water systemically. So a lot of things there, Adam. And um, we're going to talk in the next episode about what to do in an ongoing, you know, throughout the day basis. But, but just to finish up on this, you know, kind of morning catastrophe, is, is there anything else that you've done that, that makes a, a big difference at all? I think that's really it. You'd mentioned, you know, adjusting sodium and water accordingly. I'll usually do that after I see some improvement. That just gives me uh, more of an opportunity to actually see what's going on in that person's body. So they're usually quote unquote close to back to normal. So um, it's just, uh, it's easier to, you know, use your tools of science when you can see more so what's going on. So exactly. 
Perfect. All right, guys. Well, stick with us. We're going to keep going through this series and hopefully go through every scenario you could possibly face and how to fix that on contest day.